doing a tribute January 13th to 16th to the great Mike Bloomfield, who you roomed with and we were very good friends with. To give tribute to Michael, because he, never, he doesn't get the tribute that he deserves. Yeah, that's true. And to let people, and to have three of the guys that can play like that, but got their own styles, and let people hear what inspired all of us. <laughs> But we're going to stick to the Butterfield albums, because that was the band. Michael represented the blues. Everybody loved him. Robert Nighthawk, Muddy Waters called him his son. Everybody loved him for that reason. <laughs> It was just was so devastating. I'm not talking about somebody going to faking it. He could really play it. If you listen to the first Butterfield record, they got a song called Mellow Down Easy. If you listen to that record, you will see that there ain't another guitar player in the world play like that. Jimmy, Jimmy Hendrix can play, but with like 900 pedals. <laughs> blues band he transformed blues because he let it know that young guys could play blues with the old mentors yep. you know muddy waters just Wrong ain't gonna miles. let know anybody walk up and play michael learned his blues playing with muddy waters playing with so and they used to laugh at him said oh here comes that little white guy coming in but then when he started playing i got my mojo working with muddy you know muddy said that's them's my boy <laughs> from the film auditorium. And so everybody's waiting for the Butterfield Blues fan. Guys my age, Pigpen, J Bobby Weir, my good, my best friend Jerry Miller from Obi Great, because they, the record they had put out was unique in two forms. They had the old guys, they had the new guys, but it was the only mixed racial blues band out. Michael played with Muddy. Michael played with Bob Dylan. Michael played with Sunnyland Slim. Michael played with Eddie Clean Hand Vincent. So when those guys came, we could aspire to be.